Hello Virgo. Welcome to House of Virgo. This will be your love reading for the next 24 hours for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. <clears throat> so some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. You can also follow me on my other channel. <clears throat> Excuse me, Moon Pie Tarot. Okay, so um, please do like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy my channel and my videos. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, you can follow me on Instagram at House of Virgo also. So let's take a look and see what the love messages are for you here in the next 24 hours. I'm going to look at a past. Queen of Wands, the Hanged Man. Seven of Pentacles. Present, King of Cups. Six of Pentacles. The Emperor in the future, the Hermit, wow, oh, Two of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. Okay. So we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and also Virgo. Okay. Um, past position, Queen of Wands. Okay. An energy in the past of somebody presenting in a very subtle, uh, a subtle feisty, a feistiness, a subtle confidence, a subtle self-assuredness. It comes through as a very positive energy. You may have been connected in the past with a fire sign here. Uh, this Queen of Wands could very well be your energy as well. So you could be on the cusp of Leo Virgo um, and presenting more of that lion energy. Um, but either way, there is an energy here of someone in the past being kind of not as confident as the king. So more in a feminine energy, but... Kind of like I get an energy of like taking a stand in something in the past. Now, I just want to get a clarifying card here. Um, being bold. It's not someone who was apathetic or angry or cold or aggressive or dull. This is someone who... Um, Kind of like a bright spot in your life in the past. Okay. Mm, Page of Pentacles here. Um, I really feel like for some of you, this is someone um, who had some kind of idea or came to you with some kind of a plan. Um, they had these... had these ideas um, there was like a lot of choices or decisions for this person and I feel like you were like the biggest decision of their lives okay because the page of Pentacles I feel like this the person might have communicated with you in some ways that you're amazing you're great you know, um, they wanted to show you how much they value you, so they may have communicated that in a lot of ways to you. Um, and it was a bold effort on their part that they made. I don't feel like this person, I don't really feel like that was something, it might have been a little immature, but I don't really feel like it was something that they did with other people. I feel like something about you was very special to them. So it was kind of like having, uh, they were confident about that. You know, they were very self-assured in the past that you were their person, okay? Um, but then there was also this stagnant stalemate energy here, this waiting energy, okay? Um, I think this person in the past was trying to gain some kind of perspective, Um they were coming to understand the meaning of self-sacrifice 
in a relationship or in them on themselves this person perhaps in the past came from a place of selfishness or act, pretend, acted as if they were a victim or they felt like everyone was betraying them or they were traitors you know um but in i see there was some kind of like an like knowledge that came to them let's get a clarifying card please tell us more about the hangman okay the five of wands wow uh this person they see they placed a lot of obstacles in the way of you guys being able to move forward okay there was a diff there was a lot of defensive energy and it feels sometimes <coughs> excuse me sometimes the hangman could be like stuck in a position and this person did not know how to get out of it but i feel like they they kept themselves there okay they did keep themselves as like a victim um that way they didn't have to take accountability for anything in their life or maybe even in the past or in a relationship past relationship with you so they deflected or they blamed there's an awakening here about that about their um the actions they're seeing that the actions that they took in the past um to sabotage the relationship and i see them here like now they're thinking well not now but they came to a place where they've been thinking about this here the seven of pentacles like contemplating here right um having some inner awareness and like trying to figure out how to master something seven of pentacles like planting seeds um to have growth how do i do this you know it's it's not like just dropping a nut in the ground and hoping for the best it's more like how do i how do i drop this like what kind of soil do i need how much water is this going to need how much nourishment is it in the right position is it by the sun does it need shade it's like really contemplating you know how to have growth in a partnership because i don't really feel like this person you know knows they're thinking they were thinking in the past in your communication with them like i blocked the sun from shining on our relationship they were seeing the sun in you but they weren't seeing the sun in themselves <coughs> they weren't seeing the god in themselves they saw the god in you the true nourishment queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces it's mostly the nourishment it's mostly about the water you know the water is the emotions you know it's kind of like the questioning are you like they were questioning like if i actually speak to my plants will they grow they question if that's really true and it was also about if i speak to virgo communicate with virgo will this relationship grow i feel like there was seven of pentacles energy could be like delay they were delaying sharing their emotions how they truly felt because queen of pentacles has deep emotions okay very healing nurturing supportive um they wanted i feel like in the past to be able to support you and give supporting healing energy but they see here that um while that might have been great or telling you great things about yourself they were blocking their blessings so the present energy <laughs> king of cups the emperor <clears throat> <clears throat> so whomever you're dealing with is male or female this person the center of the reading is the six of pentacles there's re reciprocity a giving nature the six of pentacles did i say seven sorry this person goes from the seven of pentacles into the present which is back backtracking this relationship going back and seeing right now um in order to have growth <clears throat> in order to have this 
partnership to be in harmony, there must be self-sacrifice and appreciation and giving on both sides. Okay, so the king goes to the emperor, but this this emperor, it's kind of like growth, but this emperor recognizes here that the area that he was having trouble with is revealing his deepest emotions, okay? The emperor is fine in his leader, bold, powerful, charming, courageous area. The emperor is fine in his speech and the way he or she communicates um, on very surface level. The emperor um, understands that you know, he's a wise investor, or he understands that um, he can be very solid and practical. But the, the emperor is looking back here at the king of cups, you know, like, I think he's looking back at himself and where he was emotionally, or actually where he wasn't. Because the king of cups, even though is a very, you know, this is one element of your person, even though the king of cups is a very supportive, tolerant, empathetic leader, <clears throat> he sits on the tip of that iceberg and underneath there is a depth of emotion that he doesn't normally share and that's where the deep partnership connections are made and I feel like I feel like the emperor is taking a look back at him you know in the present looking at himself and saying this is an area that I have not mastered so let's get a clarifier for the King of Cups. Okay. <laughs> the master of your heart, the master of love. This person does well in all other areas, but is now kind of like, has not in the past had a wake up call, but is now looking. And that's just what I was saying. The lovers represents that partnership of deep love. This person struggles with that. They struggle with that. Love, you know, the lovers is not only about harmony and self-sacrifice and loyalty. The lovers is also about vulnerability, okay? Um, it's also about having no shame and being open to one another and your person struggles with that. But they see here with the Six of Pentacles that there has to be a give and take. This person really wants to help you. Eight of Pentacles. This person really wants to invest and try to make something work here with you. Um, they, I feel like in the present, you you will start seeing like enjoyment coming from them. Like this person, it's not just about creating mass quantity or, or a mass amount of time, but it's the quality of time that this person, look how they are like fine tuning and polishing um, these certain aspects of the relationship. It's not just about keeping in touch, but it's about keeping in touch in quality ways. And it's a lot to do with um, connecting emotionally with you. So the emperor, let's see what the emperor energy is in the present. Hmm, the high priestess, yeah. They hold a lot of secrets, this person. And their deepest secrets have to do with their emotions and their love for you, which they truly do feel. You're a mystery to them. Virgo, this is your card. The High Priestess is your card. And the High Priestess and the Emperor are two very totally different, you know, beings. Um, the Emperor is... is very much like a leader, father figure kind of person, respectful. And even if your person at one point wasn't displaying, uh, they were maybe displaying immaturity or, you know, maybe had a bad ego, a nasty ego, or just not a good planner. I feel like this person is like, you know, maybe grew up or something. And with you here, sending as a high priestess, you're like very intuitive. They see this about you, that you trust yourself. You retain a sense of mystery in these secrets that you don't like to reveal. And I feel like your person in the present is in this place of like, how do I get Virgo to reveal their inner 
their innermost feelings. And this person's looking at themselves and saying, I think I've got to be the one to do that. I've got the key to unlock Virgo's heart. And there's things about Virgo that this person feels that have not been discovered. And they, they're seeing now that the only way to discover these things is to reveal these emotion, these depths of emotion and feelings about themselves. It's almost as if they've come upon some like, like I said, with that hanged man, like some insight. Huh, they're saying my relationship's not working out because I've been defensive and I haven't been trying in the past and I've just been deflecting and yet I have these deep feelings for Virgo but I don't know how to express them. You may have just kind of gone or you may in the present like right now be kind of like not talking to this person or hiding out or just maintaining a, a very quiet sense about you and I feel like this person wants to come into union with you and they're, they're your person's very smart and they're aware that really the only way to reach you is to open up and express themselves because Virgo you are not someone who's just going to throw your feelings out there to the whole world you're not you're just not built that way you have very deep feelings but you if someone is able to come in and turn that key of emotion and you feel like you can trust them and trust yourself with them and you feel safe then you then you open that up and they they're seeing this now all their blocking energy um, has not helped and you presently are just kind of like okay well I'm staying right where I am I feel like this person is seeing they need to help you in order to help this relationship they need to give you something they hold the key to your heart but if they don't turn it you'll keep it locked from them so the future energy is the hermit <laughs> so this person is really uh, like going forward um they they have a tendency to um kind of go into the quiet sometimes they they like to go up onto their mountaintop and just get spiritual clarity, you know, or just get clarity, spend time alone. And I do feel like going forward, they will, right? Have, there will be like an energy of maybe no communicating with them. Um, they're in deep thought. I don't get a sense that there's like um, deep loneliness or isolation. But I, I do feel like what they're thinking about is their loneliness and um, how isolated they've felt in their lives. Um, going forward, there will be some time out and they will be looking at their past mistakes or how they have felt stuck in past relationships or in their life or just their emotions have been just so stuck. So let's take a look. Tell me about the, the hermit in the future <laughs> the emperor is here again okay aries energy aries and virgo for sure um but you know it's fine it doesn't have to be this person is also <sighs> completed they're completing so when i say the emperor i always say he's the king of kings in other words the emperor represents all the elements of water earth air and fire and as I said in the present this person I feel like they were bossing up in the area of the fire air and the earth but I feel like because the king of cups is here that water element that emotional aspect the things that they've hidden I feel like that's what they will be working on in the future and I feel like with this clarity and getting in touch with their emotions this little time out they fill in that final piece of the emotions where I feel like they finally smash that last element of their ego. <laughs> um, hmm. 
they see that the best way for them to have power in any relationship is to be authentic and open, okay? Um, to have power over themselves, mastering themselves is what I feel like is happening here. So also in the future, the two of wands is here. So this person, um, they're making a decision. It's definitely, they're waiting for the right time. I feel with the two of wands and the knight of wands, this person's coming towards you, okay? With this passionate energy. There's travel. Or they're waiting for you to come towards them. It could be one or the other. But they're making a choice here and they're thinking about traveling towards you. They have this passionate, lusty thing for you, Virgo. I don't know. Well, I do. I think I know what that high priestess that... Oh, yeah. <laughs> With that high priestess, they have this thing for you, like your mysteriousness and your patience and your, um, your secretiveness is very intriguing to this person. And when they get a chance when the time comes, the right time for them in the future um, to come towards you, they will. That very strong, strong, passionate drive towards you. Or I feel like this person might just show up at your door. But let's get the two of wands here because I'm wondering, is there going to be communication or are they just going to show up at your door <laughs> or just appear somewhere? Oh, the chariot's here. <laughs> this person's like, they're waiting for the right time to travel. And for those of you who are like right next door to each other, you're real close. It's it's just to get in the car and you're just going to see them. They may just be sitting in their car, um, maybe down the street from your house or something, or they just pull up in their car to give you something, I feel like maybe keys they're giving you a key for some of you there's a key could be a key to a new car okay but this person is like seriously taking action here um it's another clarifying card i knew it i was asking if there was going to be communication yes this person wants to talk to you they will talk to you going forward um they're very curious they want to know where you've been or what you're doing. They want truth and they want to speak truth to you. Okay. And the truth is they want to come towards you. They want to, you know, it's like straight truth. Like, do you want to talk? Um, it's all coming from the intellect. Um, do you want to talk? Where have you been? What are you doing? Do you want to go out? Um, are you dating anyone? Are you seeing anyone? Are you... Are you single? Are you free? <laughs> so show me the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Yep. And hangman again. I'm coming towards you because they've had like, like kind of a, they've had some insight, maybe even a, an epiphany. Okay. Um, <laughs> It kind of feels like a, a very spiritual awakening for this person. And the physical plays such a strong role. The physical connection is just, they feel that any physical intimacy or connection you guys have had, it's like on fire. It's still on fire. They are still on fire for you. Now, are they coming back just for the physical? I mean it plays a huge role it plays a huge role but that inspires this person very strongly to want to connect with you and have have something with you so there is like movement i'm seeing a lot of movement going into the future you know 
right here is the present in the next 24 hours, but right here going forward, that's Piscean energy. Page of Wands. This person is incredibly, I said that, smitten with you. Almost like a child-like crush. Um, very enthusiastic about you. <laughs> very, um, there's so much page energy here. And the person that, you know, they still have some immaturity about them. Okay. They could be young, like in age, but wising up, they still retain some of a bit of Im immaturity. Um, or they could be older in age and just have that, you know, still some of that maybe immature in their speak, their speech or their desires. But I'm, I'm feeling like a strong crush kind of thing, like smitten. Wow. Yep. In fact, it's worse. It's obsessive. <laughs> This person is, oh my goodness, the shadow side is a double card. This person is like a lot of sexual lust, that's that's for sure. They think about you all the time. Um, times that you were together, they obsess over this. The way you did something, the way you kissed. Like they can't stop thinking about this obsessive thinking and thoughts. Um, I feel like this person has tried to let you go, but they keep thinking about the fun, sexy times that you had together, you know, or they imagine if you haven't these things with you, they want to experience and explore a little Kama Sutra. They want to have this, you know, lusty, um, it's almost addictive. <laughs> Your high priestess energy, Virgo, is drawing this person in. And you don't you don't need to be sitting here, you know, between these two pillars with your black cat that you have. <laughs> Maybe some of you are tarot readers or you enjoy tarot. Okay. Um, you know you have secret knowledge. And you know what, <laughs> Virgo? The High Priestess, much like the Hierophant, she holds the key to wisdom and secrets and things like that. And this person wants to come in and, you know, unlock whatever you have locked. <laughs> Crazy. Um, all right, let's get a couple of Angel Wisdom cards here. They're very, Virgo, they see you as being extremely alluring to them. Mm, strength, Leo energy, personal power and assertiveness portrayed with kindness, compassion that brings about forgiveness, realizing that you're stronger than you knew. You know, it's interesting because she has the ability to tame you, you, this person is wild for you, but you have this way about you with your silence or you are the things you don't say, which tames them, that wild beast in them. And they're so attracted to that, Virgo. You come through with this silent strength. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. Virgo, you're enjoying the fruits of your labors. Hard work that has led to a luxurious life or is leading to that. Buying yourself something special, happily and successfully self-employed. And also enjoying your solitude. Some of you are just not wanting to get into any kind of relationship or go back to the past. You are enjoying your quiet time, but you're attracting a person to you. See what else? That's another message. You know, that nine is all about accomplishment. And you're in a place of understanding, but also service. Wow, you've got the moon. Listen to your intuition. Pay attention to signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let it go. Let go of your fears. Revelations will make everything clear. 
right? Pay attention, Virgo. I don't want you to be in that hermit. Be in the high priestess. Okay. You know, every tarot card usually has two zodiacs to it. Like the empress would represent Libra, but so does the justice card. Virgo represents the hermit, but also the high priestess. Okay, so if you're male listening and you're a Virgo, the high priestess is a yin feminine energy. It's time for you to embrace that nurturing feminine mystery side about you that you have not connected to quite yet or that you have not been able to facilitate in your life um, instead of just going deep within and not uh, seeking clarity go deep within and trust what you already know male or female all right virgo that's your reading for the next 24 hours i hope you enjoy that please click like share and subscribe on my channel and i will be back tomorrow for the next reading all right take care